Hey YouTube, it's Sugar and I'm back with another video today. As y'all can see by the title, today is about my jealous, obsessed teacher. Yeah, I left this story. The only reason I left this story for so long is because one, I forgot about it. Two, I just remember when I was watching my first, very first YouTube, everything in that school started rekindling in my brain when I did that video. So I was like, oh my God, let me tell about my obsessed teacher. So I had this one teacher, he was a math teacher. This is before, I, this is my very first obsessed teacher. I didn't have no obsessed teacher until until after the fact, but this is my first one. He um was my math teacher. He was a cute, fine white man. He was, he was cute. He was cute, whatever, you know. Everybody had a crush on him. But I was the type of kid where, like I said, I didn't have confidence until I got into high school. I was in middle school. I think I was in the fifth grade, fifth or sixth, sixth grade. And he was a fine white teacher. I give him that. Okay. No, I had two. I had an elementary fine white teacher. But that's not the point. But, um, yeah. The first one that was obsessed with me <laughs> had a head over heels. And, y'all, that man was so cute, but I didn't have confidence. So, I was like, um, every day I walked in his classroom, like, I was actually, because I, he was fine to me, I was more so a smart ass kid. So, I was being smart because I knew I wanted his attention, but it was to the point where I didn't want his attention. I was like, come on. You get what you want, so stop speaking stuff into existence. Because let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all what's tea. So, let me just start off from the beginning. So, one day we all in the gym, and he had come from the classroom and talked to us. Remind you, he wasn't being in the classroom, sitting in the classroom. He just wanted to, he's like, I just want to get hands on feels with you guys so I can learn y'all one by one because y'all will be seeing me. So, he was doing a little fifth grade tour with us and whatever and whatnot. And he was just talking to us and making us feel welcomed and stuff. And everybody, you can hear everybody talking about, oh, he fine. Oh, he cute. You heard everybody say that. But like I said, once again, I ain't had the confidence. So I didn't say shit. I was like the innocent kid. But they always said the kids that you, y'all know, y'all watch Lifetime movies, y'all know. Um, I'm like, okay, he cute. But I ain't, I ain't acting like these thirsty ass girls sitting over here. So at this time, I had it bad. My mama did not do my hair. Because I just caught myself trying to do my own hair. So I had a little speckety wreck on top of my head. Thinking I was that shit. And I wasn't. But then I started doing my hair. So then I became that girl. <laughs> I became that girl. So my mom, you know, if they see me now, everybody want me. <laughs> Not to my own horn or nothing. But you know, and my mama, I told my mama met him. My mama met him and she was like, oh, he a cute white teacher. And, -woo -woo -woo. and he was like, oh, your mom is a very nice young lady. She looked very uh, very proper. So he was trying to tell me my mama cute without telling my mama cute, but I knew he was telling my mama was cute because he already told basically his her daughter that she was cute. But um, yeah, my mama was like, oh, he's cute and whatever. I might take his number or whatever. So I'm applying on him, but I went to my mama that this man already hitting on me in class. So after he did the little speech thing, my mama met him. It went from there. Then every day, like after that, it wasn't he wasn't acting crazy just yet. So it was like more so, oh, I'm going to raise my hand. He was like, so can anybody answer any of these questions? And he was like, I can. What's five plus five? Ten. Like, you know, I was I was that because I'm like, okay, I am I ain't too confident, but I want to be a smart ass. You feel me? So at this point, I'm really paying attention to school now. You can call me Miss Smart Ass because I done got my first honor roll. Like, your girl was smart because she was trying to be smart and cute. Well, I wasn't even cute, but you know, you know, you get it, you get it, you, you know, you know. So I'm like, okay, whatever, that's just what that on that. So I'm starting to be hearing all these girls, we all in a group, they all talk about, so, man, I messed up, messed up, I freaked the freak out of him, like, y'all heard, I'm just talking to the girls and whatever. I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all ask, like, y'all y'all gonna ever get him, whatever and whatnot. They was like, girl, yeah, I can already talk to him, he already been talking to me in class, with the like, the girls just be saying shit, which I know it wasn't true, because... We in the same class, and y'all ass can't even raise your hand correctly and answer any questions. So, what you trying to do? Get on one-on-one -on -one sessions? I'm finna stay in his class during lunch. Come sit up there with me. So, I started staying up there with him. This man used to be in his own little bubble. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but that's where it all started. At. He was all in his own little bubble. So, I started coming to school. Like, it took me some months. And now I started coming to school because I knew how to do my hair now. Your girl was bad. <laughs> bad man, my jumper, no slammer. Okay, I was bad i was oh you know i was fine 
I had my edges laid. I done came in with my earrings in. I done came in with my makeup done. Like, your girl was up here trying to do the five, six, seven, eight, nine just because. So, I'm like, at this point, I just need to spice my life up because I'm, a, I'm like, at that age where I think I need to, if I can't do hair, I need to learn how to do my big one, too. So, now I started doing my hair. I started wearing my little fake ponytail weaves, my little bang in the track in the front, a little dang 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 Like, I thought I was these shit naive. Like, baby, I started perm my own hair. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was a hairstylist 100%. A hundred percent. So I'm going there cute now. And all of a sudden, he started looking at me. He started looking at me. He Instead of me raising my hand, he was like, Diamond, you have an answer today? Um, today I really don't have an answer for you because you've already said enough. So it was like, I started, I guess I started slacking. I didn't start slacking, but I did stop being so cocky and conceited because I knew I was a bad bitch coming to school. With no confidence. But I was still coming in with a bad bitch energy, just as you should. So... I'm like, whatever. So he was like, you don't have no answer today, Diamond? He's like, you don't have no answer today? I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I do. But, um, it's right. Like, you know, I'm not trying to be a goody two-shoe. And shit like that. He was like, oh, well, come up and present your paper. So I went from being, raising my hand. So now this man got me in front of a classroom presenting my answers and being the teacher. And I mean, right in there, it was a red flag right in there. So... Now, at this point, now I'm becoming a teacher. Because now he come in, he got me. He said, if you come in early in the morning, I need you to lay everybody's uh, paper on their desk and uh, write out my stuff for me on a board. So now I'm starting to be a teacher. So now I'm at this point, I'm a teacher. I'm up in here teaching you codes how to be. I guess so, because I don't know. <laughs> at this point, I don't know what I'm teaching y'all, but I'm teaching y'all. You feel me? Y'all taking notes. Write up, take them, take them, take them. So he got me writing his work down. So after I do my work, he, um, he'd be concerned when I didn't finish. He'll walk around talking about, you doing good, Diamond? Because I... Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I did not want to write on that damn board. So I be doing my work a little bit slower now. Like he was like he'll come over and he'd stand behind me and do the little walk in the back and forth when they let me let me show y'all what they did. So this will be him with his hand behind his back and he'll walk. He'll sit on my desk talking about, well, Diamond, you doing good, you doing okay? And then, like, I'm like, y'all done. I thought he said did, did you still want to do the board today? I ain't I ain't got no trouble, so I'm like, okay, he getting a little, like he, the kids be writing their work, going like this, looking up, being in the business, like. So the girls start getting jealous, which, which I thought was going to happen at this point, because you know how girls is, especially teenage girls or upcoming girls or girls, period. So he like, he done walked over there, he said, Diamond, you're done. Here go the paperwork. So now at this point, he rushed me. So now I did finish my work. I go up there, write on the board. Say if this is the whiteboard. I'm standing right here. And he, I was shorter than this. Nope, I've been the same height. He's taller. So he's standing behind me like this. Talking about, it's like bumpers going to whistle in my ear and stuff. He whispering in my damn ear. So I'm like, what? I'm like, the class talking about, oh, oh, because I want to know old too. So, so at this very much moment, you got the teacher behind me, whispering in my ear, telling me how to write the board, what's right on the board. He was like, um, put a little pep in my step, talking about, you got this, you're being shy this week. I don't know what the problem is. Fun Friday, he down there playing basketball, I guess trying to show off his bird, his motherfucking muscles or some shit, showing that he can make shots or some shit. And remind you, on Friday is somewhere where we like to personally get at the top of the top of the back, uh, uh, blinkers and we like to shake our ass. Uh, yeah, we like to shake the ass. <laughs> shake the ass. Okay, we was up there. <laughs> top tier, top tier. We was on top of the blinkers at the very high. And I don't even know how to fuck. What made me have, why? I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't even like hikes. So why was I up there? Because I won't get my old, as old as I am now, I won't get my big ass, scary ass. No, I'm not scary on top of the top of the blinkers. But that, then the back in the time I did, we out there twerking or whatever. I'm going to boom, 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 pop, pop, pop. Okay, and I just look down, and he looking up there, shaking his head. He, and then he brought the conversation up in class one day. He was like, I seen all y'all up there shaking y'all butts like y'all, um, um, grown or something and stuff. He mentioned it. He was like, I'm out of my business though. And everybody just laughed. I'm like, that's not even funny. That man is on a whole nother level, bro. So now at this point, he's starting to be very much hands on. He coming out to our lunches. Well, my lunch. He coming out to my lunch. He's starting to eat with us, talk to us, chit chat with us. But it's not us because why is you around me all the time? Like I'm starting to catch this drift girl around me all the time. 
I, he stayed getting me out of trouble. So if I got in trouble before his class, he got me out of trouble and just told me to come in his class. So at this point, I'm in his class all the time. But I was I was fucking with the the uh, puppy love and shit. Like you keep me close as a student and got me feeling like I'm big dog. But then it started getting weird because then he didn't want me to hang around certain girls. He'd be like, I'm gonna call your mom if you don't start hanging around these certain girls because these certain girls are gonna stop you from your education. And got a whole long ass speech like he my mama or my daddy. Like he give me a whole speech like I'm just getting bad grades. He's like the route you're growing down, you eventually will have bad grades and you will start failing in school. And he give me a whole pedophile speech at this point because that's what I'm taking it as. Cause why are you telling me about something I know? And I've been hanging on these girls before this because I dressed up a little bit. I'm a little shim rock down, a little girl, like growing up. I done glowed up a little bit. Is that what you feel I'm scared about? Cause now I'm trying to look like one of them. And I'm still smart, but you want me out of yourself. Cause you're selfish. So at this point it's giving like, dude, you scaring me. So then at this point, I one of the one of the other teachers caught on to him doing that to me. And um he was she was like, if you feel like any teacher or anybody is trying to touch on you with the woo woo whatever, come let me know and I will take it for you in my own hands because I know and this this is my my teacher that's like she don't play like she was one of the teachers that was very she don't play like she was one of the elder teachers but she acted like she was young so she played her role until it was time to act her part so she was like yeah because i know some of these young teachers up here trying to uh, get down with you young girls just let me know and she was like she double tapped me on my shoulder extra roughly and stuff just let me know that she knows me i'm like <laughs> so i'm like i'm trying to play it dumb so then at this point, he done got called down to the office. I guess she spoke up and said something. And he was like, um, no, I love these kids. These kids are like my own. All these kids are just like my own. I would never, I would never. So then they kept, they let him keep his job. He got suspended because it was like an altercation. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. He got suspended, came back. And he was like, y'all, you girls, whatever happened, y'all got to tell them that it wasn't me. So then he made us do a whole big poster cardboard on about how good of a teacher he is so he can keep his job and woo woo And after that, he did. So we all did that because we're kids. Kids, we don't know we not we not smart when it came down to stuff like that so we didn't wrote a whole big poster card to the teacher and stuff for the principal uh for the teacher to go to the principal and show him that all the students love him and what was when he had certain teachers right on it because like i said one of the teachers was told um so then it kind of got around the room that the te that teacher was too flirty with the girls and too hard on the boys and he was also a basketball coach so he tried to remind you, I don't know shit about basketball. He's like, you don't want to get on the basketball team? To do what? To cheer myself on? To try to encourage myself? Bitch, you, you know how to play basketball. No, the fuck I don't. No, the fuck I don't. You not hear about my last 30 times where I said I had a girl on the eye with basketball? Because I don't know how to play basketball? You must don't know. Like, you just don't know. So... He like, yeah, y'all, right in the post. Like, we done did say he trying to give me the basketball. I'm not feeling it. I'm like, mama, she, my mama coming to the school one day another time. And she was like, well, I heard that she had this one teacher that I don't like mind helping her. And she just like, it was him. He met her. No, it wasn't even him. She was talking about the other teacher that got me out the little situation where she called the, uh, the, the principal and told him about. Anyways, anyways. So she he ran down and off. He was like, I heard that you was gonna be here today and I was just coming down and let you know how good of a daughter, how good of a child you have. And she's a very great student in the classroom. But I told her the road that she's going down, she would not be making it in life if she keep on hanging out with the girl she hang around with. And mama ended up taking she was like, uh, he's like he very much care about you. He really care about you, but you better stay out your face because I feel like he's all in your face. I said, Mama. Stop playing. Like, you know, as a kid, you're like, girl, stop playing. Who, who do that? Who do that, girl? Stop playing. So I'm like, um, I'm just explaining to her. I'm like, girl, nah, uh, nah, uh, nah. She was like, yeah, I can tell those type of people you gotta watch out for. He's like, he's very concerned about you. I'm like, mama, you're not concerned about me. So when I got ISS and he couldn't do nothing to prevent me from getting IS, ISS, um, in school suspension, he definitely, most definitely come down to the ISS room, drop me off all my homework. He'll go to all my classes and collect my homework and give it to me. And reminds like I said, okay, y'all don't watch that story. That's not the point. Okay, we're going to talk about that later. So, yeah, he brought me down all my homework, and he did whatever he could. He uh he brought me my lunch and everything. And reminds you, I can look at my own lunch. Dad wasn't handicapped now. They let us go down there at our own time, just now with our group period, to get our lunch. But he brought me my lunch with my group period. So, he will go down there and give me that. He will give me some money. He definitely did. He was giving me money and everything, like, all the time. Reminds you, like I said, once again. 
my mama had a, had a drift, like a little feeling of it, but she didn't know everything about it. So, mama, if you watched your story, yeah, you remember the teacher, she said that was fine. When I was going to that one school, I ain't gonna say it on here, but it's all with a B. You know, I ain't gonna tell a lot of schools with a B. Okay, just know, mama. Yeah, he was flirting with me. But that's why we ended up getting in trouble with Just listen, mama. Just listen. Okay. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, then after that, he started seeing, like, I wasn't listening to him about hanging out with the certain girls. And every, like I said, from Friday come, he'd be like, I seen y'all up there. But then he started catching feelings to where he would see us up there and then he'd start screaming. Talk about, hey, y'all mamas know better. What do we, like I said, the first time he seen us and he spoke out and said, he seen y'all up there being grown, but he didn't mind his business. What happened to you minding your business, sir? What happened to minding your business? He didn't mind his business. He literally got the screaming. Talk about, hey, y'all all get from down there. I don't want nobody on the bleachers no more. Remind you, you ain't even a gym teacher. You ain't supposed to be in here. It's fun Friday. We supposed to be anywhere in the world in the school if we wanted to be. You supposed to be in there doing more book work. You supposed to be up there next, making up the next uh assignments for the week for next week. You supposed to be up in there. Said you up here playing basketball with us kids. You up here watching us kids. It was remind you. Well, front Friday came, we got to be around the whole school. Everybody got to be in somebody else's classroom. We got to do whatever we want. As long as you finish your work during a week, Monday through uh, Monday through Friday, you had an assignment to do in the morning, and that was the only assignment you had to do. But you had to do all your work Monday through Friday. You couldn't get on, you couldn't get in trouble or anything. Well, mind you, I got in trouble a lot. So, I was insecure, but I was a badass. So, I didn't say I didn't get in trouble. I ain't never going to say that. I got in trouble, but I always got out of trouble because of him. So, he started being very antsy on the body. So, then one day, we're in the gym, and we off in the cut. But we had, this time, it was, like, a couple boys in a group. So, like, we'd be normally on top of the bleachers doing whatever we do. But this day, we was down off the bleachers because, like I said, he made us stay off the bleachers. Because we felt like that was too much of a turn-off spot. So, we ran 30 on the side of the, on the doors over there. Like, it was, like, a little building, and we buy the doors. And we were ran 30, like, the girls was running 30 with the boys. So, we were just running 30 and whatever. Running 30 is where you off. Boop, doodle, doodle for 30 seconds. So we would do that. But then after that, we'd get into our dancing contest. He walked over there in the midst of me twerking on some dude. It was over with. It was over with. He done called my mama. Mama didn't answer. He said, Now you got to stay in my classroom. So now he's trying to punish me. Because he walked over there, my, not mind his business. You weren't supposed to be down here. You weren't supposed to be down here. So now I didn't have to stay in his classroom, do an extra couple times and shit. So that's the point he's trying to punish me, but he punished me the way he wanted to keep he wanted to keep me in his prayer view. Like he wanted to see me face to face so he can make sure I ain't doing nothing. So he took one of my fun Fridays from me and didn't go down there and play basketball with them. It made me sit in the room with him all day. And he was just sitting over there in front of me, talking to me, just talking, talking, talking. He said, I really do care for you. And with the with the so he got a whole other side story going on once again. And it's like, sir, I don't care. I don't care. So, he started getting aggressive, being angry with me, flipping desks. I swear for Jesus, I promise you up. I swear. He got to flipping desks, flipping chairs, talking bad, talking crazy, talking about you kids want to be hoes and y'all girls. Er, it screws the fuck out of me. Because if I want to be shaking my ass on a pole, let me do that. Let me throw this ass back that I don't have. Let me, let me do that. Let me do that. So, he not, he not letting that happen. He not letting that ride slide or go by. He not. He, I mean, our assignment every day was us complaining about what we not going to do in life and what we will do in life and what we will be becoming better of and what we can and can't do to better ourselves and what can't help us. Like, he got us, we aren't even doing math. Remind you, I said he's the math teacher. Why are we writing paragraphs? That is for the, the, what's that, people? Is it geometry? No, that's not even geometry. Geometry, math. He's supposed to be dealing with math, and he over here doing world history work at this point. What do you got us writing letters for? What? Talk about apology letters and carry yourself back. You're a math teacher. Let our, our uh graphic teacher or whatever the hell that is and make us do reading. The reading teacher do that shit. This is not for you. This is just not for you. So he got us doing that. We're not even doing math anymore. So we're already a week behind. Only our class, though. He making all of us suffer because I'm in that class, basically. That's the only class that started suffering because of what he had us doing. Remind you, the whole school's up in there. So why is our class safe? Because you couldn't, because you didn't want everybody to know that it was purposely you're aiming your anger out towards me. So only our class is in trouble. Remind you, I said, fun Friday where everybody goes wherever. So if you ain't punishing every class, what, is your, what are you doing? Why are you punishing just our class? But I knew what he was doing. He was like, and that's and y'all need to look at one of y'all teammates and tell it one another because it's reflecting on y'all. So what one do all do and all y'all look bad. 
So you ain't look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, do better in school. Do better in school. Stop hanging around with them badass kids. So he got us doing a whole speech and a whole ceremony and a whole church vibe going on in school and you're a math teacher. So now we're a week behind on math because he's not teaching us the math we're supposed to be teaching. He's teaching us language arts. He's teaching us something else. So at this point, he done got mad. He done got angry with me. And it was just one day he was just kept busting my name out. He just kept busting my name out. He was like, and Diamond, you're supposed to be a role model. And Diamond, and Diamond, and Diamond. I said, you're not going to keep trying to out me out like that. Because if you got a problem with it, I can call my mama. Because you clearly ain't talked to my mama in a minute. And I need you to talk to her because you clearly getting out your body. So he was like, keep talking like that. I'm going to call her. I said, you keep talking like that. I'm going to walk out and I'm going to go call her. He was like, well, do what you please. Do what you please. So we up here arguing. So I'm like, because you're not going to sit up here and just try to out me out like that. You have to keep saying my name over and over again like I'm the only one doing wrong. Or because you just have a major crush on me. So then he, I walk in the classroom. I swear for God, after I just said, we just talked about this. There was no reason for him to follow me, touch me, put his hands on me, anything. That man, I kid you not, that man ran to the fucking door and said, you're not going nowhere. Go sit back down. Whoa, excuse me. I was like, boy, you gotta be you gotta be tripping, dog. You you gotta be tripping, dog. I'm telling him he tripping. I'm like, you tripping. Like you tripping for real. You tripping for real. You ain't need tripping for fake. You tripping for real. He like go sit down. Go sit down. You're not gonna do nothing. He in my face like this. I swear to God, his his lips is could have touched mine. I swear to Jesus. If I would have went like if I would have budged, we would have kissed. If I would have budged, like you know you my boy, we're literally this close, we're this close. And it's about, you're not doing nothing. I don't care. You're not going to do nothing. I'm like, but you get out my face, though. You get out my face, though. You get out my face, though. He like, you're not going to do nothing. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And he was literally giving me my mama vibes. And it's like, my mama could do this. But then he apologized the next day. Like, and remind you, my mama did. I should have asked him what his sign was. Because Virgo's got it bad. He probably was a Virgo. Because Virgo's got it bad. Like, be all in your face disrespecting you. Doing anything in the sorts of then saying they sorry to the bottom of their dearest heart next day, buying you flowers and roses. He done brought me a whole candy bag the next day. So I'm like, I'm sorry, but like I said, once again, this nigga done pushed me back from the door and told me I ain't going no motherfucker where I'm going to sit down. So then I called my mom. I said, Mama, this teacher yelled at me. She called. He was like, I, I'm sorry. I just I just take it as it's she's not like another daughter to me because, remind you, you don't got no fucking kids. So what daughter was I to you? You don't even got no fucking girlfriend. So he was like, I just take it very hard because it's like I do everything. He was like, he been there just babbling on the line. And I literally was like, Mama, he lying. He was he was like, shoot, mama gonna start taking up for him talking about Diamond. Be quiet. You're disrespectful. You see him talking to me. I said, Mama, you should have seen how he was talking to me yesterday. He's like, I bought her a bag of candy and I told her I was sorry and wooty wooty woo. So at this point, she my mama knew that he yelled at me. And she was like, because he was on the phone with me and I just blurted out and said, He lying, mama. He lying. He felt so I was. So he felt like he was trying to get back on the good side of me because he thinks that I didn't give a fuck about him no more. Because you just did the up ex extremely most. So then he'll start asking me that I want to do boy work again. And I'd be like, no, nah, I'm fine. He was like, well, then stuff some other girls like, I want to do boy work. I want to do boy work. She was like, okay, you can do boy work if she don't want to do boy work. I said, you can do boy work. Like, I don't want to do boy work because he just pissed me off. So I was yelling at my face like, you my daddy and you're not. If you see my daddy, my daddy is the same color as you, man. You need to get out of my face. You need to get out of my face. What you need to do is find you something safe to do. So at that time, my dad and me wasn't close. So it was like, um, I couldn't call my dad, but you yelling in my face like you my dad and you not. So he like, he just literally done sobbed, done sob story. He done apologized to me. He done gave me a bag of candy. He done talk to, try to talk to me nice. But then I was, you know, one, if you yell at me once and do disrespect me once, you're going to do it again. And I should pay attention to that. But it seems like I don't pay attention to the stupid signs till it's too late. So I was like, oh yeah, B, C, D, and that's just not it. Like, I just, I'll wait too late to realize everything. So, so he like, he apologized. It was like, it was like a week straight. He was just trying his hardest to apologize. Said, you accept my apology. And I'm sorry for that. And he just tried to be back on the terms that we was at the beginning. Like, where he had started off being weird again. He was back on there. Where he was just starting to be like, oh, well, Diamond, you want to do this? Diamond, you want to... Like, he was just that. But he wasn't out of me, like, in a bad way. He was trying to out me to do good or do what he wanted me to do and shit like that. But then it was like, it calmed down. It calmed down for a little bit. He turned around and ex escalated again. Because he was in class and he was like, um... You been missing a lot of days. He was getting mad at me because I was missing a lot of days. But like I said, ever since he did that, it started rubbing me the wrong way. So I just didn't want to be in his class. I was going to school, but I wasn't making this to his class. I'm not going to lie. I started skipping his class. 
excuse me, I start sending ISS on purpose. I start sending ISS on purpose because the ISS teacher and me don't grow by at this point. She see me every other week. So I'll go in there on ISS and sit down with her and talk to her. And she would just let me know that if anything ever happened, she can I could come to her. I always come to her because she knew who my family was. So I'm telling her, um, yeah, so I'm explaining to her the way the teacher was asking to me. She's like, he don't have no right. He don't have no right. I said, he don't. And I said, it's funny because he'd come in here one week and bring me food and stuff. And next week he'd sit up there and act like he fucking my daddy or something. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? So then I just started sending ISS through his class. So then one day I had to go in there and grab my extra work. And I just wanted to grab my extra work and leave. And he was like, where have you been? He's like, you ain't been in my class and you think you're just going to walk in and get your homework and your missing assignments? No, you have to come work for your missing assignments. I'm like, work for my missing assignments? What do you want me to do? I don't know, what you want me to do? I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. He's like, you got to come to my classroom and you have to sit here with everybody else and you can get all your mission work. And then we'll go over it together. I don't need your motherfucker. If I'm actually going to take the home, give me the homework if I can get going. Like, what are, you, what are you doing? I ain't never seen nobody want to hold somebody hostage for not being around. Like, it ain't like I'm not doing my work. For your class, I'm doing your work. I just don't want to be in your class. I don't want to see you. And he just has that politely. He said that politely. And I mean, that nigga done grab me up, roughing me up, and push me against the wall. So now at this point, so at this point, I'm in the hallway. The, the class, he got class in section. So this is me. So imagine I'm in a corner. This me in a corner. He done pushed me and grabbed me up like this in the corner. So now I'm in the corner on my shirt and shit. And he all over me like, ooh. Where's the water? This one ain't no fucking hot water. They don't want to go to fuck with the computer. Mm -hmm. But anyway, anyways. So, he, um... <laughs> so, he got me in the corner, paired up like this. He all over me and shit like this. Got me wrestling up, yelling at me. He jacking me the fuck up. I mean... You would have thought that me and he was in a relationship real bad. Real bad. And I'm going to stay and put it up, boot it up for more. Give him a little kiss or something. Because he would ruffle me up and like him up like a feather boy. He had me against that wall, picked up. Like, what you finna do? Rape me in the hallway? At this point, you giving like, huh, like you want. What Kershaw said? She said, you play with me like I want. All right. Alright. He, he he treated me like that. Well, alright. You need to back up and calm down. So at this point I pushed his ass back. So we in the hallway like this. He grabbed me. I'm grabbing him. We grab remind you, I'm a whole female. I'm a whole girl, not a half a girl. I'm not even a little girl. I mean I'm a little girl. That's that's bad because I'm a little girl. Like I'm a I'm a kid on top of me being a female. Like you just top tier disrespectful. You just top tier disrespectful. Y'all, that wasn't the last incident after that. We, we was just like, we was going back and forth for all the time. After that one, he rapped for me up and I called mama. I said, yeah, mama. He just sat up here and did, you know this lady going to tell me? You and this same teacher keep having problems. Y'all was having good. And now y'all saying, I know it's your diamond. I know it's your mouth. And she swore for down to my mouth. I got, God, I witness. My mouth was never the problem. My mouth was never the problem. I always got talked to you bad, so my mouth became a problem. Because you're not going to talk to me down bad and think I'm not going to say shit down right. Okay? Oh, okay. And my mama swear it down because she got in a lot of problems. She, you're my daughter. You're my daughter. I know your mouth. I know how your mama get. How your mouth get. So he done call mama after I call mama. And I'm like, mama, she's like, my daughter just called me first. Right. My point exactly. Your daughter just called you first. Who side you pick a size old? So... After that, he just started calling my mama more and more often. So now at this point, he just called my mama for anything. He be like, well, your daughter had a better day today. Um, but she did get in trouble by the next teacher. What do that have to do with your classroom? If I got in trouble on Jupiter, what did I do down here on Earth? Like, what? it's none of your concern. None of your business. So he be like, then he called her. He was like, well, I seen that your daughter was having an altercation in the hallway today. And I just broke her into my classroom. With, with, with. So I'm like, this man really trying to have a mama wrap around his little ass finger. For what? Like, for what? Like, you're doing a lot. Like, you're doing a lot. Like, a lot. Y'all, we, he done ruffled me up in the hallway. Got the whole door, the whole damn classroom in the hallway like this. At this point, because they see us out there screaming and yelling and wrestling. Like, you hear boom, boom, boom. So we all binked up against the doors and shit. Like, we over here literally wrestling it out. Like, the fuck wrong with you? Like, the fuck? Your mama couldn't have raised you because you raised like a piatch. Like, who put their hands on a female instead of let alone a kid that's not even yours? Sick in the brain. 
sick of the brain. Sick of the brain. So then, um, that day passed, and he was just like, he was just like, he rolled his eyes at me because he couldn't believe I got aggressive with him because, like, you're not going to disrespect me like that. So for a week straight, he didn't talk to me. And after that, he tried to ease back in. And then after he eased back in, he said, I don't like to put my hands on nobody else's child. He got some speech about it, playing that victimized shit again, being, 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 being very, what's that word? Not vindictive. Probably that word, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Um... But he was doing something. I can't remember the word right now. I can't think about the word. But yeah, he was being very manipulative. That's not even the word either, but that's close enough. Uh, he was just being very manipulative. Manip manipulative. Shit, manipulative. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, this man just doing an upright most. Like, he just, mm, like, he just think he know he know his shit. He just know all the bitches want him. And he just know he got one on him. He just know he got one. I'm like, boy, so one day, this is where it cuts ties. And I knew right in there, it was just like, it was going to be a repetitive thing. So I, it, took, you know, it took two more tries because then I ended up getting switched out of his classroom because he did push it to the limit. He pushed it to the motherfucking limit. So the next one was, it was after school activity I was on. Don't stop me lying what activity it was. I can't remember. It was something to help the school and communication and shit and whatever and whatnot. So it was, it was, me and this boy was in the hallway talking and whatever, and he gave me a hug, but then he pushed me, the boy pushed me, and I pushed him back. And then he was like, I'm finna get you, I'm finna get you. And he chased me down the hallway. And I'm like, stop playing so much, but at this point, everybody always chase somebody down the hallway. Like I said, once again, that man chased people down the hallway. The teacher did. The teacher chased people down the hallway. So he like, I'm just like, okay, whatever. He chased us down the hallway. So now he chased him. Dang, get that. Remind you, it's a gap between. It goes me running first, the dude, then the teacher. But he's screaming my name. What are you screaming my name for? So I cut out. I'm just running down the fight, down the stairs. This man meets me at the other stairs. He uh, cut out and fights fighting, but he go down the other stairs. So we eventually will have to run into each other. So he ran down the back stairs, and I'm running down the front stairs. So he eventually had to meet us because I know I had to get to the... Uh, other stairs anyways but yeah so he run over there he's like diamond and he's like he down there tripped me but i didn't fall like he down there tripped me though he's like what are y'all doing what are y'all doing y'all upstairs playing and shit and what the what like he cussing at us and everything like he was like what the what the what he was like go find you something to do he's telling the boy to go find something else to do. he said i'm gonna call your mama because you just being disrespectful and rude and you heard me calling you upstairs i said i'm not gonna stop for you because who the fuck is you like me you don't even see eye to eye you shouldn't even stop to even see my eyes okay he was like, I said, I'm not going to argue with you today. I said, you can do whatever you, you want when you put your hands on me last time. I said, you want, he said, and now I get in your face again. Y'all, I get you not. The man, the man chased me, chased me around the fucking table. But you yelling at me and this boy for running. But you're chasing me in the cafeteria around these tables. Like, I'm your daughter or something. Like, I'm your wife or something. Like, I just, I just cheated on you or something. Like, you're literally going up and beyond. Like, you're going up and beyond, baby. I swear to Bob. Like, this man just went crazy. We're literally running around the fucking table. I kid you not. We're running around the fucking table. I'm jigging the fuck out of his ass. Cause you're not finna. He jumped on the table and jumped over the table. And you know what the fuck I did? Did the same motherfucking thing. So now I'm on the opposite side. So now I'm running again. So I'm running and cut. He said, I, finna, I just can't wait so I get jumped and whoop your ass. He, he told me he's gonna whoop your ass. I said, You gonna whoop my who? I wish you could try. I wish you tried. So me and the teacher, like, we're literally in a hall. Like, we're literally in the cahoots. Like, it's after it's it's after school hours, anyways. It's literally like we go to school and get off of school at three something, three, and it's like five or six o'clock. We're way past school hours because we're doing activity after school activity. Why are you even still here, sir? Don't you got things to go do? Don't like why are you still here? Why every time something going on, you around? Why? Let these kids have fun. Fuck is you doing? Y'all, that man did not let go. He literally, when he got in my face, he tried to grab me. And he got in my face like this and he tried to grab me. I yeeted his ass and ran. My bus pulled up. I run on the bus and I duck down in the seat. He like, where's Diamond at? I know Diamond rides this bus. How the fuck you know I ride this bus? There's a hundred million thousand buses on this motherfucking street. And you just know I ride this bus. You just know I ride this motherfucking bus. What you doing watching upstairs in your window? Being a creep that you are? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? That man did not take no as answer. He literally was trying to find the fuck out of me on that bus. But I had squashed down. Squashed. Whatever that word is. I had got between the seat. Like, y'all know how the bus is? I got between the seat and had somebody put that book bag on top of me. And they were sitting in the seat so that he couldn't see me. So I'm basically under the seat. I'm basically under the seat. He was like, when y'all see Diamond, can y'all tell her I'm calling her mama on her? 
Y'all, he called my mama, my mama called my phone. I'm like, mama, I ran on the bus because my bus, he was trying to make me wait until I be talking about he'll take me home. But he literally disrespected me. And I said, mama, why would I let him take me home? Why would I want him to know where I'm living? Like, who does that? Like, no. At the time, my grand lived up the street. So she, I could have walked to her house. I literally didn't need no bus. I could have got, I got, could have got my happy go lucky ass walked up to school, went to my granny house. But I'm not going to tell this man where neither one of my parents' people lives because what is wrong with you? He like, um, tell her, um, call her her mama. He called my mama, come call me, talking about what you and this teacher got going on. And I said, mama, I told you he obsessed with me. You thinking I'm lying to you. Like, this man is obsessed with me. Like, he was like, he's like, he's just a caring, loving teacher. Yeah, and no kids. And no kids. It'd be different if he got kids. He don't got no kids. So how is he caring and loving for somebody and he don't even know me? How he don't even know me? So that was the that was that one right there. That man chased me to the bus. And our last, our very last coup was when he um try to help me out and get again in class. And he was basically trying to turn the other teacher again talking about you hear him. So he uh, mentioned my name or said something about me and I just wasn't responding because like ain't nothing to say. If I my mama told me if I ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So I wasn't saying that until the teacher come talk about tapping on my shoulder talking about you hear him talking to you. That is so rude. Y'all don't have no home training. Now you girls just wanna be hoes and stuff. I said, girl, get your stick and professor my face because you got another thing covered another thing, girl. You can get my face. She was like, You hear him talking to you, but she don't know what's been going on. Like, but it's like I'm not gonna explain what's been going on because who are you for me to explain to you? Like, you see what I'm saying? So, I look like a bad kid. I wasn't even bad. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even bad. But I hate it when people talk to me crazy. Like, don't talk to me crazy. Because I don't... People simply like, you supposed to let stuff go. Let go. Let God. Be quiet. But he also tell me to speak when I'm spoken to. Say something when it's supposed to be. Don't say nothing if you ain't got anything nice to say. And I'm choosing to say nothing because I ain't got nothing nice to say. What do, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? What more do y'all want from me at this point? So I didn't answer him. I didn't answer him because why you pick on me? What do you out of all the kids in here? It's like 35 kids and you pick on me. Be me, be motherfucking for real. Be motherfucking for real. Like why? Why would you do that? So at this point, I'm literally not answering him. She's tapping on my shoulder again. Right? She's like, I'm gonna call your mama myself. So she's like, just stay on, wait on me at the end of the day. So me and this teacher done got into it. So I run down the hallway. I ain't gonna lie. She had me. She was walking with me because she was trying to walk out of class. So my mama know. Um, because she know my mama and them or whatever, my family, whatever. Girl, I don't give a fuck. The fuck y'all even know what's going on. The teacher literally be, literally be disrespectful 24-7. So, this one day, I ain't gonna lie. I did. I cut from all the way from the top of the stairs, all the way to the bottom of the stairs. I ran all the way to my mama's car. I ain't gonna lie. She, I, she ran, I ran all the way to her car. My mom was like, what you running for? I said, mama, no, just go, just go, go. She said, I'm not pulling up. What are you running for? Y'all, my mama stayed there until she found out what she was waiting on. It's the fucking teacher. She's talking about, I just want to let you know, Diamond is a sweet lady. But today she just was being nasty. She was just being nasty. I said, no, I was being nasty because I'm not feeling wrong. So I'm like, girl, be quiet because you're in trouble. Because you ran out of that building too fast. I knew something was wrong. I'm like, my mama never listened to me when I needed her to. When I needed her to listen to me the most, she didn't listen to me. She didn't listen to me until it was too late. And I got another story time about when my kindergarten teacher grabbed me up and put me in the corner and called me a brat. I'm, yeah, that's going to be a next story time. But... Yeah, that is the end of this story time. I want y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if y'all had an upset teacher. And if y'all did, let me know. Because this is not fun to have no upset teacher. I don't care how fine you think you is, baby. Don't get out your body. Stay fine and that's it. Don't don't stay fine, aggressive, and turn somebody off to where you're not even fine. Maybe you just a purr ugly. Like, you just purr ugly. But, yeah, that's the end of the video. And I just like to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all doing y'all shit night is. And I'll see y'all next video.